I'm Dr. Edith Perez, a Deputy Director of the Mayo Clinic Cancer Center, introducing the topic of uh, the role of P10 as predictor of uh, benefit of adjuvant uh, trastuzumab. One of the most important questions that we are trying to address is whether we can identify uh, molecular markers in tumor specimens that may help us distinguish which patients may benefit from one therapy versus another. In the setting of early stage uh, breast cancer, P10 has been one of the proteins or genes that some researchers have thought had an impact related to the sensitivity to this anti-HER2 drug called trastuzumab. Well, because of this information, we set out to do a definite study evaluating for the presence of the P10 protein in tumor specimens from patients who participated in, in one of our uh, clinical trials evaluating the effective, effectiveness of uh, adding trastuzumab to chemotherapy after breast cancer resection. Our study was a collaborative uh, effort where we tested the P10 protein expression in 2,000 or so specimens from patients in these clinical trials. The patients were then followed for more than five years and the results are as follows. We detected that patients who had P10 expression or patients who had no P10 expression benefited to the same degree to trastuzumab. This is a very important finding as many investigators have been trying to get that type of information and our results will provide the data so that uh, other researchers can look for other potential reasons for sensitivity or resistance to trastuzumab. Certainly, we are conducting that type of research, and from now on, we plan to uh, publish this uh, definite uh, data in a manuscript and continue our studies to evaluate other proteins or genes to help uh, predict for sensitivity to trastuzumab. But the good, the good news from our trial is that we found that P10 expression or lack of expression do not exclude patients from benefiting from trastuzumab treatment.